Seeing well is so important and the health of our eyes has everything to do with that. Joining us today, we have Dr. Edward Quinlan. He's a vitreo retinal surgeon with Retinal Consultants of Arizona and the Retinal Research Institute. Nice to have you on with us today, Dr. Quinlan. Sandy, thank you so much. And thank you for this opportunity uh, to uh, present uh, or discuss our Retinal Research Institute which is, it's a really important part of our practice. Uh, and what we do in our Retinal Research Institute is uh, we are conducting clinical trials to help to develop new treatments for many of the conditions we see, such as macular degeneration and diabetic retinopathy. And if I could make two points, uh, you know, the first point, uh, why are we doing this? And, and secondly, what's the importance of it? Uh, you know, first off, um, if you go back about 20 years ago, we were, we were very limited in the types of treatments we had for our patients. And, and we, we really are dealing with uh, blinding conditions. Um, so uh, 20 years ago, back in the 1990s, some members of our practice decided that they wanted to try to be on the forefront of treatments, and they became involved in clinical trials. And over the years, this has just really grown and blossomed. And we now are the uh, leader in Arizona uh, in terms of uh, retinal research uh, here. And, and we may also be nationally, potentially. We, we average about 30 to 40 clinical trials at any given moment. Um, and you know, currently, we have 20 clinical trials that are enrolling at this time. Uh, but the second point, and, and maybe this is even the more important point, uh, uh, the importance of this is what we have seen occur over the uh, last couple decades is many advancements in our field that has uh, brought about many new medications uh, that we can use to uh, help our patients out. And um, at Rental Consultants of Arizona, we've, we are very proud to have been able to say that we've been involved in, in all of the clinical trials uh, that have brought out these new medications. And, and so that's, that's really the importance of this. And uh, you know, going forward, what we want to do is continue to contribute to our field and uh, try to bring progress uh, in, in our area. Well, obviously research incredibly important into uh, finding out what to do about age old problems and diseases with the eyes, with the retina. Um, but you know, sometimes in the past, you know, people have actually they lose their vision from macular degeneration or diabetic eye conditions. Once they lose the vision, are there new treatments that can help get that back, Dr. Quinlan? Well, yeah, that, that's a difficult area, Sandy. And, um, you know, I, I think just as a general rule in, in medicine is uh, any condition that is uh, identified early on and treated in the early stages tends to have the best results. And uh, conditions such as macular degeneration, what occurs is uh, if they've been going on for quite some time, you, you really unfortunately do develop irreversible vision loss. And um, currently, you know, we are not able to uh, restore that vision at this time. How however, there is work being done in these areas to try to uh, develop uh, techniques to uh, see if we can restore vision. Um, so, so there is research uh, ongoing in this area, but uh, it really is a, it's a very challenging uh, uh, field right now, and, um, uh, but, but progress is being made. Well, certainly very important. Um, and you need people to participate in these clinical trials, I suppose. Uh, you know, how do people sign up for those, and, and what can they expect, uh, Dr. Quinlan? Well, yes, no, absolutely. That's that's it's really important uh, to to you know get people to get involved in the trials and and um, well, uh, you know, if if you have a condition such as age-related macular degeneration or or diabetic retinopathy and and you know you you're you're having difficulty with your vision, you can certainly contact our practice. Um, uh, give us a call and, and we'd, we'd certainly be happy to see if, if we could do anything for you. Uh, clinical trials do have inclusion and exclusion criteria that people have to meet. So, you know, we, we, have, to, we have to take a look at the patient and see if they can qualify for the trial. Uh, and, and, and the inclusion exclusion criteria are really there to protect the patient. We want to make sure that uh, you know, everything we're doing is very safe and that no harm can occur to the patient. But um, uh, 
so you know, if they were to contact us, we'd be, we'd be happy to evaluate them and, and, and see if we can help them out. Wow, very interesting. And speaking of interesting, I'm sure that there's, uh, with the studies going on, is there one that uh, really is most interesting to you now with, with this kind of thing, uh, new tests and stuff? Uh, what's, what do you see out there, Dr. Quinlan? Actually, Sandy, yeah, we're, we're very excited about a, a new trial that's just getting underway right now. Um, I know you've been involved in, in, a, in a few of these discussions, and, and you're, you're probably aware that uh, currently the way we treat wet macular degeneration is with uh, these injections that are, are performed. That we inject a medication into the eye. And uh, often what has to be done is these injections have to be done on a monthly basis, uh, which is, you know, it's, it's a lot for patients to be coming in uh, every month to get an injection. So there's been a lot of discussion about trying to come up with some sort of a sustained delivery system that will continue to deliver the medication over time uh, such that the patients do not have to come in for monthly visits. And we are just beginning a trial that does involve a sustained delivery device. So uh, we're very excited about this trial. There's, this has been uh, a topic of discussion for several years now, and we're finally reaching a point where perhaps we may be able to um, have one of these sustained delivery devices wherein patients don't have to come in monthly. Maybe they'll come in every three months, maybe every six months in order to uh, get the uh, uh, device filled. And, and that way, I think it'll really decrease the burden, uh, burden for coming into the doctor's office. Wow, that would be a great gift. I know macular degeneration as people generally get older then this can, can show up and, and I guess it's a sort of tunnel vision. You lose your periphery and everything and, and uh, it eventually causes blindness as well. Well, you know, actually, um, macular degeneration, uh, what, it, what it tends to affect is more of your central vision, which, uh, you, you know, is very important. That's, that's what allows you to read, that's what allows you to drive, to recognize people's faces. Um, and so, you know, once you lose your central vision, it, it, it's very, you, you lose a lot of independence. Um, uh, you do, you actually do retain your peripheral vision, uh, which can allow you know, people to get around to a certain degree, but to really function at a high level, uh, if you've got loss of macular function, uh, it's very limiting. Oh, very difficult. Hard to look out of the, the side, you know, to, to see where you're looking at. Well, Dr. Edward Quinlan, a vitreo retinal surgeon with the Retinal Consultants of Arizona and the Retinal Research Institute, thanks so much for joining us today. Great information on the new research going on to help our, uh, our eyes stay healthy and good. Thank you for joining us. It was a pleasure to be here. Thank you, Sandy.